Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Welcome to a desktop quickie. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace a CPU. First thing you gotta do is disconnect the little fan connector here. And then here we're going to use a flathead screwdriver or you can use your hands if you want. Turn it counterclockwise as the arrow indicates. So let's go ahead and do that. This will basically release the clips that are holding the CPU. Okay, now that our clips are loosened up, we can lift our heatsink and a fan off the CPU, just like so. Put that aside. So in order to remove this CPU, we need to press down on this zero force insertion lever. We need to press it down and then move it away from this notch that's holding it. So we need to push that way. So push it down a little bit and then pull towards yourself so it goes past that notch. See, now our metal plate that holds the CPU is loose. Now we can move this back, and now we have access to our CPU. In order to remove the CPU, gently grab it on the sides like this, and pull it out. In order to put this back in, we just do the reverse. Make sure these notches are correctly corresponding to these notches here. See, there's one, two, so make sure they're setting like that and then gently make sure you don't bend any of these pins back here gently just lower the CPU down without trying not to touch any of the pins you see how the notches are aligned once you know that that's happening for sure you can push the plate back down and then use your zero force insertion lever and this can actually feel hard to press down but trust me, if you just do it like this, it's actually meant to be like this. Press it down, let it go past this notch, and let it release it. Now we need to put our fan back on with a heat sink. So this one actually has a little broken one. So you gotta be careful not to break these things because they're very sensitive. They're mostly made out of plastic. Now before we put our heat sink back in, turn back these tabs, all of them. Remember how we turned them counterclockwise? Now we need to turn them clockwise. This will actually lock them in so this part doesn't move, right? So it doesn't expand. We don't want it to expand yet. Make sure that your, all of your holes are aligned perfectly. You can actually have a look to see. Make sure it's flushed like that. See how it's flushed with the motherboard? Okay, make sure that all of them are like that. And then once you're 100% sure that they are, you can start pressing down on these tabs, right? You can start pressing down on these tabs. I like to do two at a time facing opposite and then I just press them down. You can hear a click as so, and doing the same with the other ones. You see now how it's like solid? It's not going anywhere, right? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, please share it with friends or family. And if you're interested in learning more about desktop support, check out my channel. I have so much more material that covers all kinds of different things about desktop support. Also, in the description box below, I will post a link to really good reading material from Amazon that you can have a look. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.